The big news is that Donald Trump is the new president of the United States. Kamala Harris very, very shocked and surprised considering the fact that she stayed in Pennsylvania. Actually, started her campaign after receiving the baton from Joe Biden, started a campaign from Pennsylvania, went around the other swing states, came back to Pennsylvania, but still lost that state to Donald Trump. What really happened? Let's try and make sense of some of the key swing states and uh, some further analysis. Parkwesi Asari has joined me in studio for that conversation. Parkwesi, thank you for coming on the show. As we speak now, these are the numbers. Talk to us about the numbers. 276 for Donald Trump, 223 for Kamala Harris. And I spent the whole of last night on mm. CNN. I literally slept on CNN <laughs> until this morning. Right. And it was very clear, it was very evident as at 6 a.m. this morning that, you know, Donald Trump was headed for an historic uh, victory. Mm. This is an historic victory. Listen, um, I listened to the, his running mate, Avance, who said that this is the biggest political comeback in American history. And it is indeed Mm. the biggest political comeback. Yeah. Nobody expected this. Mm. Nobody, absolutely nobody expected Probably this. Probably just him and his supporters. Yes, yeah. yes. And, you know, CNN, in their latest exit polls that they conducted, um, you could clearly see that Trump's approval ratings had shot up. And even in the votes that we witnessed, the results that we witnessed, you could see Trump making inroads, improving in a across most of the demographic groups, yeah. Latinos, whatever, I mean, all those demographics, mm. you could see him improving. And Kamala Harris's performance, Martin, I must tell you, was a bit embarrassing and surprising mm. because mm. even in regions where the Democrats were winning, it was just by very slim margins. Yeah. Now, you had stated early on that Donald Trump, everybody was looking out for the swing states because, I mean, I mean, traditionally, you know that Democrats will win in this, Republicans will win in that state. Mm. So it was all down to those swing states, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Nevada, Nevada Arizona, Arizona mm. Georgia. Mm. And gosh, what happened? Yeah. Donald Trump was winning across all those swing states. And, and that, that, that was the, the big shock for many, considering the fact that Pennsylvania, mm. which was won by Joe Biden mm. and flipped when um, Donald Trump was having his first term. Mm. All of a sudden, in fact, because Kamala Harris knew that Pennsylvania was very crucial, mm. she spent most of most her time, of the time there, there, yeah, but then still lost. In fact, she was supposed to address the gathering. And, and, and there was this video from BBC where you could see a lot of the supporters dejected very, very and just walking away. And uh, you know, you watched uh, Trump. Is his and, speech and this we'll morning. bring that to our viewers yeah. where Donald Trump has actually addressed the gathering and made some very interesting pronouncements to the fact that he's going to try and bring the country together. Mm, mm. It is very politically divided right now, and clearly it happens in almost every election year and in every country that is going to the polls. Right. However, right after the polls, whoever leads or whoever wins must start putting in place measures of how to bring those who are wounded or mm. those who have lost mm. together because you need to rule over a united country or right. govern a united country. Right. And it would have been worse if the reverse had happened. Mm. If Kamala Harris had been declared winner mm. by now, mm. we can say for sure mm. that some people, you can describe them as miscreants, mm. but people would have run helter-skelter in the United but States even because still they now, people Even between then and mm. now, they mm. started sowing seeds of... Discord? well, seeds of doubt mm. in the minds of many who are now going to vote that, look, mm. this thing is likely to skew towards Kamala mm. Harris. Mm. And so we're getting ready. Mm. Had Kamala won, mm. it would have gone down. But Martin, I must a, tell you that there are also a lot of people path. who are just quite disappointed about the results. But it tells you what America stands for. I mean, everybody was talking about how bad uh, Donald Trump was, how much he talked down on, on women, he was a racist and all that. And what did the American people say at the end of the day? Listen, we don't care about him being yeah. a bad boy. We care about the economy. Yeah. And that, I mean, it came down to the economy. Yeah. That is what people were saying, that, yeah. look, in the first two, three years of, of, of Biden, we don't think things really turned out well. Mm. We experienced Donald Trump and we are comfortable notwithstanding what you say about his character. Listen, that's a, a president who has several cases at the Supreme Court. Exactly. You know, he's been lined exactly. up for several cases. Yeah. You know, and can you imagine <laughs> that Americans decided yeah. that in the face of all the, the challenges of Donald Trump, 
they were prepared to go back to him. Yeah, and he's, like you indicated, fighting a number of legal battles mm. at the court. Mm. Despite, I mean, I think America just runs a totally different type of democracy mm. because you would have thought that because he had cases against him in court, mm. he shouldn't even have been allowed to contest. Mm. But that has been put aside. Mm. He has contested. Now that he is president, what happens to what those happens cases? What happens to all those cases? We'll probably try and in the coming days see what the Americans will make of it. Mm. But the bottom line, and another thing that stood out for me was persons within the minority groupings, mm. like the black, the Hispanics, mm. the Asians, mm. A considerable number of them in states like Georgia, where we are sure, mm. and we've been told that it's predominantly the black community, voted for Donald Trump. So That's it tells that the mindset of what we've always mm. said that oh, Donald Trump, if he becomes president, it will be difficult to go mm. to the U.S., mm. etc., is actually the reverse. But, he but, says, but Martin, it, it's I'm not saying things. don't come to the U.S., yeah. but you, you've come got to, in You've got to make legally. it legal. Yes. You know, it's two things. It's one thing what the world wants of America and it's no, nothing what Americans want for themselves. For themselves. Absolutely. We can sit outside America and be suggesting who we think should be an American president. <laughs> we want the good guy, the guy who's going to unite the world, yeah. the guy who's going to go yeah. out there, you know, poking his nose into people's affairs. Because in America, the people who, who are completely disgruntled about the running of America's economy and how much of money mm. Joe Biden has had to expend in places like Ukraine, mm. you know, mm. the, the, ordinary, the taxes of ordinary American citizens. And the Americans were not excited about that. Yeah. And it tells you in the decisiveness of the votes Absolutely. in the victory for Donald Trump. Okay, so we'll look at the war you've just mentioned and mm. about how even as part of the first debate and almost all his rallies, Donald Trump was on the tangent of the fact that he will end the wars that are currently going mm. on, what's happening in the Middle East and mm. what's happening in Ukraine. Right.